Hello and welcome to the workshop. Thank you for stopping by. We appreciate you very, very much. If you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. We upload a lot of sneaker videos. If you love sneakers, a lot of sneaker videos, you see that is a perfect buckets. What's the word I'm looking for? Union. Union is the word that I'm looking for. Uh, so yeah, definitely subscribe. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Mr. Former Simpson. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that thumbs up button. Helps the channel continue to grow. Let's us know what kind of sneakers, what kind of videos you want to see. Win-win situation. Buckets again. Would you call it a union? I would call that a union. Definitely a union. The last thing I want to mention before we dive into today's sneakers is the uncivilized young tigre t-shirt buckets who's behind the camera myself we have a clothing brand and that is our latest creation i'm actually wearing it in black right now we've got it in white on the website as we speak there's also some other pieces on the website but quantities are limited so we will put a link in the description of this video uncivilizedstore.com go check it out at your convenience buckets anything to add or we might just cannonballing right in straight cannonball three two one bang bang this is the Air Jordan 1 High Lucky Green. These are set to release April 15th and retail is 180 bucks. I grabbed this pair from Kicks R For Us. They are a local sneaker shop down here in the Tampa area. Appreciate them looking out as always. You know, we always try to bring you these early looks when we are able to do so. Kind of help you with your purchasing decisions, if you will. Now, I actually expected to like these a little bit more. Buckets, a little bit in the words of Robert De Niro, a little bit, just a tad underwhelming right out of the box. That said, they are still pretty good. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with a Jordan 1. It just is, especially when it's done up in that traditional color blocking style. Super simple, but always a classic look. You've got that smooth black leather wrapping around the front of the sneaker. It runs along the eye stays as well, and it is also on the ankle. And then again, you see it on the swoosh, white leather on the toe, white leather on the mid panels, and then you've got that lucky green on the back of the shoe, kind of gives it a little bit of pop. Lucky green laces, there is an extra black set as well. You've got the black nylon tongue with that lucky green Nike Air tongue tag, black wings logo. Black ankle liner, crispy white midsole, and you've got that all lucky green outsole. They are not too shabby. I don't mind green on a sneaker. I know everybody's not crazy about green. There is something about this shade of green or maybe the amount of green that I don't all the way love. Maybe it's because I'm stuck on the Jordan 4 pine green right now. I wear those almost every single day. And by almost, I mean every single day since I've gotten them. Don't totally need two green pairs in the rotation buckets, right? Green is a very, it's a, what's the, what's the color? What's the adjective for the color I'm looking for. Loud. It's definitely, it's definitely loud. These, you know, the pine green is a little bit more subtle and putting green on a Jordan one, that's not a new thing either. I think in March, 
they had a Jordan 1 mid that was essentially this same shade of green. Back in 2020, there was a women's lucky green that dropped. I think it was a little bit more of like a Heineken shade, if memory serves correct. There was the Gorge Green Jordan 1 that dropped not too long ago. Of course, that was a much different shade. I guess the point that I'm making is a Jordan 1 plus the color green, not a new thing. I mean, buckets is any color new to the Jordan 1. The Jordan 1's been the most popular Jordan retro of the last 10 years. We've pretty much seen every color on the sneaker at this point. For sure. So nothing is really new. It's not reinventing the wheel. Something that is interesting and is of note, I would say, is that the Jordan 1 hype does seem to finally be subsiding a little bit. Just using the resale prices as kind of the gauge or the measuring stick, you can tell the hype is starting to simmer. I don't know when it started, Buckets. We've talked about it in previous videos, maybe 2012 with the bread one, maybe in that time period. So you think about 10, 11 years where the Jordan one has absolutely dominated uh, resale wise, hype wise, the whole deal. And now it does seem like it's starting to fizzle just a little bit. I still think the Jordan one is an awesome silhouette. I think people are gonna like this pair. I just don't think it's gonna be a must have the way other colorways have been. Jordan ones are so wearable though. At least in my opinion, I feel like it's such a versatile sneaker. It kind of almost like transcends, I don't know, bucket genres, styles. Like, you know, you can skateboard in these, you can, um, wear them with a tuxedo. Maybe don't wear them with a tuxedo, but I'm just saying very wide scope, a wide array of stylistic possibilities, accoutrements. Okay. I don't know what that means, but we will, uh, we'll go with it. Trying to think scale of one to 10. Are these worth it? If you know, if you can grab a pair of these at resale, which I think a lot of people will be able to do, there doesn't seem to be much resale value there. I feel like at this point, you can usually tell what the hype is and what the resale value is kind of going to be a little bit. I'm going to say these are a seven out of 10, very solid. I'd say they're worth the retail price point. If you dig the colorway, it's a pair you can wear a bunch. And again, I know green doesn't necessarily match with everything bucket. You and I, we're not really too big on matching these days. Just throw on a good sneaker, throw on a silhouette. Like I said, I've been wearing the Jordan four pine greens and I just throw them on with whatever. Granted less green on that pair, but I do think these are solid. Can I say they're solid after saying they're also a little underwhelming for sure. Can those two things... That can be a union. That can be a union? Yeah. Okay, we'll go with it then. I'll go 7 out of 10. I'll go 6.9 out of 10. Just to make it like, you know, being tough with the scores. Okay. Scale of 1 to 10. I'm going to go 6. 6 out of 10. So you're in the same range. 6, 7 out of 10. Yeah, and I think it's important to note that over these past 10 years, roughly... Yeah, there we go. The Jordan 1. Here it is. I'm, yeah. This is the visual scope. Yeah, the timeline. The timeline. Here it is. I think that... This is a very good pair of sneakers if you don't have a lot of Jordan 1s. If you have a lot of Jordan 1s, maybe you don't need this pair. Right, and, and that's the case with so many. It's good. That's the case with so many sneakers, right? You know, like if you have 10 pairs of a certain silhouette, you start getting, or at least a lot of people will start getting really, really selective. If you don't have that particular sneaker, like think of a new sneaker model that comes out, right? You and I, for example, we're just excited about that model. We don't really care too much about the colorway. We just want to try them on and wear them and, you know, either hoop in them or wear them casually or, do you know, just live life in them a little bit. Uh, the colorway is not as important. I think as that, um, I don't know, collection expands or as that, uh, what's the word? Uh, union. No, not union for that one. Now you're forcing it on that one. As that catalog grows, then you do get a little bit more selective. So good sneaker, not a sneaker that's going to blow your mind. That's my final answer. Buckets, anything to add? No, it's my final answer as well. So we agree. We do agree. Hey. Hey, how you freaking doing? Doesn't happen all the time, but it happened today. Um, let us know how you feel. What are your thoughts on this colorway? What are your thoughts on the Jordan 1? How do you feel about the Jordan 1 now versus a few years ago? Have they kind of fizzled out a little bit for you or do you still love them? Let us know how you feel in the comments below. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow, manana. Same time, same place. I don't know if we'll be back tomorrow. We may be back tomorrow. 
waiting on another pair of sneakers to come in. So just stay tuned. Um, I got nothing else. Buckets, nothing from you. Nope. Adios. Thank you.